we go. Hey, everybody, it's Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar, and we're in the lovely air conditioned confines backstage at the Orange booth. And that was Morgan, you heard on the intro, and we're here with Adrian here, head orange, uh, head orange guy, head of orange here. And we're going to be talking about a couple new bass products. Yep. And we were listening to the bass butler there on the intro. So tell us a little bit about kind of what the thoughts were behind that design and, uh, and more about it, and then we're going to hear some more. Well, it's actually based on his original rig. Oh, okay. which involved a, a 50 watt guitar head, a, a tuba 12 guitar cab, uh, two 4 by 10 bass cabs and a thousand watt bass amp. Uh, it's trying to get that into a box that you can travel with for fly-ins, yeah. go straight into the PA with and record with. Mm. Uh, so you've got a bass channel with a built-in optical compressor yeah, okay. and you've also got a, a guitar channel with like a three band guitar EQ on yeah. it, uh, gain and volume. And you've got a guitar cab sim on the XLR out for that. And you've got a bass cab sim on the XLR out for the bottom, for the clean channel. Yeah. So, and you've got, what you're hearing in the room is a blend of just going to the effects return of the little bass thing currently. So we're using that as a power amp to demo that. I got you, I got you. And uh, on the guitar channel, you can insert an expression pedal, mm -hmm. and that allows you to back the gain off on the way into the guitar channel. Oh, okay. You okay. see, or you, the stomp mutes it completely. Just mutes the guitar channel, keeps the bottom end. Mm. So if you want to bring it in and out in two different ways, you can. Wow. You know, so that's pretty much what's going and he's, on. And he's, has, we have an expression pedal here on the floor that he's recording with, so. But all, all the bottom end is staying as it as it is. Yeah. yeah. yeah but wow. you get all this nice harmonic top and. Yeah. But also, because you can set it up however you want it. I mean, it doesn't I've got it how I quite like it. Right. You know, we'd use it live. But you can set it so it's just a little bit again when you bring in the in a in a pedal. Or you can just turn it off. It's uh, it's like, yeah. So what what the people are hearing in the video, they're hearing the XLR straight out. They're they're not hearing the mic'd that's, version. Yeah. That's the feeds we're giving you. Yeah. yeah. So you're hearing now it would sound Dur just roughly blended into a DAW really. So what was it about when you're when you said you based this off of his rig back in the old days? What made you kind of want to use a guitar amp and a bass amp? In the first place, yeah, yeah. Uh, I wanted to sound like uh, John Embissel in Live at Leeds, on oh, Live okay. at Leeds, uh, and uh, that was kind of my, you know, uh -huh. the thing that got me into. I was a bit of a frustrated guitarist, I think, and um, and uh, and so that was most that was the most fun way of getting around right. that, you know. And this is obviously much easier to carry around than <laughs> a couple yeah, amps. To record with it, I mean, it, that's uh, that's really the. the it's amazing for that because you don't have to do that muck about any of these huge amps and yeah. and uh, and it just does sound as good as the real thing. It really doesn't. And when you because of the cab because the cab sounds so good, yeah. you just don't miss it. It's just uh, and to and to dial in to do, sit it in a mix. Yeah. It's just it, it's just it's just great. Oh, yeah. I, I will say when you really crank the distortion on, it still has that kind of clarity and it doesn't kind of lose the definition of the note even when there's loads of gain all over it. You know. About it. Yeah. Because it is, a, it is a guitar, you know, it's a guitar channel. It's, it's yeah. first and foremost, and, and there's no compression on that channel. It's only on the bottom bottom end. So, so you get all the attack and all the harmonics as it should be, you know. So, what'll be the pricing and availability on the bass butler, Adrian? Uh, it's ready. It's shipping now. It's shipping now. Yeah. What's it gonna? What's the price? I think MAP is three ninety here. Okay. And now the other thing. Don't quote me on that. You'll have to check in with well, the sales guys. Yeah. 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 <laughs> So wrong. That's my disclaimer. I wish it was twice as much so no one else could have one. <laughs> <laughs> so the other thing we're talking about is the, the amp right next to it, the little bass thing. So tell us about that. So that's basically the same output stage as a Terra bass, which is over there. Uh, 500 watt Class D. And uh, the Terra bass has got the 8200 front end. Okay. 
okay. now, the new TerraBase has. Uh -huh. Whereas that is for bass players that want it more clean. So you've got the optical compressor, you've mm -hmm. got bass treble mid with a sweepable uh, frequency. frequency yep. uh, you know the optical you can foot switch the compressor in and out you got buffered effects loop you've got a balance down all right so now we uh we moved over to the to, uh, plugged in the little bass thing we're gonna have uh morgan demonstrate some sounds on that so let's hear a little bit of that All right, cool. What'll much be the cleaner? That's much yeah. cleaner. Yeah, yeah. It's got a nice punch to it. Yeah, yeah. There's not an awful lot of compression on it at the moment, but but yeah. it's um, but what's there is very tight. Yeah. You know, it's very tight. Yeah, no, it's nice. It's nice. You know, I imagine a lot of, a lot of players would like like this because it's much more, you know, sort of, you know standard. Sort of yeah, it's good for the people that want to play slap and stuff as yeah. well, you know, uh, which the compressor works really well. It's slightly different compressor on that one to the bass part. Like. Uh, yeah, yeah, the attack's are perfect for, I did it so it's perfect for slap. Yeah. You know, so it's the people that the, that wouldn't lean towards that that we got something for them, you know. So Adrian, where can people go online to find out more information about all the bass stuff and guitar stuff you guys are doing? Go to orangeamps.com and that should tell everything tell you everything you need to know. Thanks guys. Morgan, we're going to have you play us out here in just a second. This is Jason Shadrick with Premier Guitar. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all of our videos from NAMM.